Now I like to split my paper in half right to start with so that I can remember which one is my practice and which one is my really good one. I'm gonna go ahead and number the top section one, number the bottom section two. Now I'm ready to get my stuff from printmaking and start exploring. At the red table, I can get my whole little caddy that has water soluble markers. These are Crayola brand, a pen, it doesn't matter what color though, and a little sheet of foam. I'm gonna start with the foam and my pen. Now, it doesn't matter if this pen actually writes on your paper. It's called a ballpoint pen, and it has a little metal ball in the end that's gonna really make a good smashing of our pattern here. So I don't know, I can't decide what I want to draw, but maybe I want to draw mm, the moon and some nighttime stars. Now remember, I'm not worried if it's not coming out very well, because it doesn't matter. This is called an experiment page, right guys? Experiment page. I like to do a lot of things around my stamp that I'm making because I don't want any dull areas. Once I'm happy with what I have, I'm gonna fill it with my finger. Hmm, I can't really feel it. It doesn't feel bumpy at all. So I'm gonna go back through and push down much, much harder. Oops, I ran out of the lines it so it wasn't pushed in at all. Now, everywhere that I'm smashing this foam down, it's creating a void. It's making a spot that's going to be white because there's gonna be no markers on it at all. Once I get done tracing all of these, I'm going to put marker onto my actual stamp that I just made. Oh yeah, if I feel it now, I can really feel those bumps. If you're not sure, Feel free to ask someone else at your table to fill it for you, and you guys can make a decision together. All right, this looks pretty good. I think my paper's pretty full. It's not my favorite drawing in the world, but I think I could use it for an experiment page. I'm gonna choose my markers. If I choose a dark color and a light color, I'm always gonna use my light color first because I don't wanna ruin it, right? I'm gonna just lay it on the side a little bit give a little color to my picture here. Yes, I'm making this up as I go, it will be fine. Snap that cap back on and go to my next color. You might wanna be really precise with your colors and that's fine, but you should note that the entire card should have some type of pigment on it. Cap, snap it and then store it with the lids down just like our black Sharpies. Finally, I'm onto my darkest color put some of this on. Now guys, I might get a tiny bit of this on my hands, but like we said, it's water soluble. It's not going to be a big deal, but it will dry a little bit on my stamp that I just made. That means before I put it down on my paper, I have to get my paper wet. So while you weren't looking, I went back to the sink, got two paper towels and ran them under the water. They're not dripping, but I could probably squeeze out a tiny water. I'm gonna go ahead and get spot number one wet. Push my wet paper towels on it, maybe rub it over at once. If you can see the water setting in little puddles, you have too much. Then I'm gonna so carefully take my stamp, turn it over, place it where I would like to make my imprint. Rub, rub, rub. Ooh, it's just like glue. Mrs. Me like you, yes, yes. Lift it off carefully. Ooh, pretty good. Now for me, I don't really like that I can't see my details of this. So next time I color it, I'm gonna use orange for those and then use my same colors out here. And I'll stamp it one more time. See if you can do your best, guys. When you get all done, this one goes in the drying rack. This one goes to your house. 